Yo, what's up, YouTube? Gus Fireboro back with another video. I know I've been away for a minute, but this comes to you. Y'all seen some shit on YouTube. The, I know everyone's talking about it. The, the Al Sharpton uh, town hall meeting or whatever he tried to have in Chicago in regards to gun control. Well, he thought he had a bunch of dumb Negroes sitting there in the audience waiting to hear who they're being told to blame for their misery. And what he got was a bunch of informed black people who call him to task about all the bullshit going on with the Democratic Party. He came there initially to talk about guns, but the niggas will sit there and, 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 and blame white people or, or laws for, for their demise or for what's going on in Chicago. Black youth shooting black youth down in the streets damn near every day. It's going on across the country. And I got into one of the, that shit a few videos ago. But back to the, the topic, I felt good because it, it, it finally showed me that black people are starting to wake up. Black people are starting to wake up to this political game because now we, it's coming down to the wire. We got the dollar about to collapse. You don't own shit in your community, brother. You understand? You got these Arabs, you got these Asians coming in, selling your women $80, $10 billion worth of hair a year. Where else could that money be spent? You got you going in, buying all of these, you know, designer this, designer that, sending little white kids in Europe to college. But you're not thinking about your own community. And and, and, and y'all, most of y'all that can identify with that shit, you make up the dumb niggas that Al Sharpton thought he was sitting in front of. But fortunately, fortunately, his ass got handed to him because he had himself a bunch of informed black people in front of him that wasn't going, weren't going for the okie doke. And I felt so good when I seen that because sometimes as an informed black man, you 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 can sometimes feel alone, but yeah, to y'all brothers and sisters in Chicago, I want to send y'all a shout out. I wanna I wanna I wanna thank y'all for what y'all did. Al Sharpton has done nothing but has pimped the black community for far too long. You got Jesse Jackson. You got all these these brothers living and luxury coming into the ghetto to tell you who to point out. You got MSNBC on your TV every night telling you to point at a Republican. But let me ask you this, and my oh man, David Michael, or Michael David, please forgive me. I'm a big fan, I follow you too, but I, I'm not paying attention to your name. I like your message. He said this, if you, if you pay two people to do a job in your home, and you pay $195 a day, and you pay the other $5 a day, and the work wasn't getting done, and your house look like shit. No policy is passed that at all even remotely resembles something that would benefit your community. You get nothing for your vote. Every four years, the Democratic Party comes out and, and heads to your churches and, and they got your rappers on TV talking about rock the vote. But what the fuck does that do for you? I'm dead serious. That has done nothing. These these liberal policies have done nothing but destroy your black family. Has had what is it? Who 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 created? Who's facilitating? Who started off the prison industrial complex? Really big boom. Think about this. Who didn't want to free you from slavery? What party is the party of the KKK? And I'm not telling you to go out and vote for Republicans because they've owned and bought and pay for by the same special interest. But what I am telling you black people to do is start waking the fuck up immediately. Time is running out. You got these immigrant groups coming into the country by jumping hurdles over us. Time is getting real, real out here. Pull your pants up. You're the joke of the world walking around with your damn pants down. You're the joke of the world running after every criminal and want to be rapper in the world to lay down and make you a statistic, sister. We need to stop the bullshit right now. It ain't no one's fault but us. Yeah, there's racism out there. Yeah, there's a bunch of bullshit going on. There's people that hate you. There's people that hate black people for the shit that niggas do. Okay? 
black people, we got to start standing up to this ignorance. We got to start correcting some of these niggas. And if they don't want to be corrected, we need to start ostracizing these niggas from our community because we need to stand up and build some. I'm tired of being known as the people who do the hip hop and who do the bebop and the twerking and this and that and that and the third. Let's get real. Enough all the bullshit and the Al Sharpton um, blaming this one and pointing a finger at that one. MSNBC 24-7. It's okay to be a sorry ass nigga rhetoric because you were a slave. You were this and that. Enough is enough already. White people and other people who, who you feel may participate in your degradation aren't in the hood every day shooting each other. They're not in the hood every day. They're not in the hood every day. You, you you know, cutting each other up, selling crack to one another. They're not in the hood doing that. It's us. Well, not me. I, I you know, I have a job. I'm a working dude. But you know, you you get the message. We need to stop the bullshit. Thank goodness there was some educated, informed brothers and sisters in Chicago that back smacked that black motherfucker back to where the fuck he came from. Him, the puppet Rahm Emanuel, who is, he really got more power than, than, than um, Barack Obama, believe it or not. See, it's a lot of shit that y'all don't know, but that's for another video. This, I'm only addressing right now the Al Sharpton situation in Chicago, which I had a ball watching again, again, and again. Gus Farberro, I'm out. Chicago, shout out to all of y'all. I mean, it's either educate those niggas. Now, I know there's, the, the city of Chicago is probably mostly a bunch of wild animal-like niggas if you got the killings that y'all got. But I'm thankful to God Almighty that there's a bunch of informed black folks there who did not let this bastard <laughs> roll into town with the DNC agenda with the with the whole kitten caboodle pony show, time it, it's time to wake the fuck up. Gus Fireborough, please comment as you see fit. I'm out.